Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. I'm going to show you how to take your standard M4 grip and use it for storage. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at a neat little product that I found. Uh, in my research, uh, this is the Strybog that I've done a recent review about, a tabletop discussion, and I wanted to, they come with this grip that's built in and you cannot change it out. And the way they did it uh, and designed it, it just has an open hole here. A lot of your uh, military or mil spec style M4 style grips, uh, very similar situation, they have an open hole here. For my ARs, most of them I switch over to the Magpul Mo uh, grips that actually has the little trap door. And I do it two reasons. A, I like the feel of it, and I like the trap door. I'm able to store batteries and things like that in there that are convenient to have on hand on your rifle. And I don't have to think about where they're at. I know they're always in my rifle. So I was looking for a solution and I found this product by Missouri Tactical. They're a really great company. Uh, there'll be a link in the section below down there for my Amazon store. They are in there. You're more than welcome to go to their website direct if you like, but I do have this stuff already selected. And I buy. I bought some other things. They did not send this for review. I bought it myself off of Amazon. They also have other products that I bought that I'm going to talk about in a later video too. Uh, so it's a great company. They got a lot of cool products that I like and uh, work really well. So this right here is called the A2PG storage plug, and it's designed specifically for M4 style um, grips. Comes in this little box here, open it up. Real simple concept, it is a rubber style plug. And if you look here, it'll say A2PG plug slash AR slash M4 right there on it. What's neat about this, they actually thought about this a little bit and to make it more utilitarian, it actually has a little slot there, if you see, and it has a little hole right there. And it also says CR2032. What does that mean? Well, that's the battery that fits in most all of your red dots, is that battery right there. Well, this right here, they thought about this thing when they made it and made a slot, and they made a little hole right here to put your Allen wrench for windage and elevation adjustments on most of your uh, red dots. So you can put it just like that and store it and to put it in. Now the directions, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just push it in the hole, that kind of thing. But if it's a little stiff or a little hard to get in, they do recommend taking a little vegetable oil. You do not want to use a petroleum product, so you want to use... Um, like a little um, uh, vegetable oil. They said run around the rim here a little bit just to make it, I didn't have to do that, but you may have to in your application. Pretty simple concept, you just stick it in and it is a little difficult to start in, but once you get it going, it's not that bad. And if you look, that looks very factory. Looks very nice, professional. I don't know if it would turn this into waterproof, that I don't know, uh, but either way, it does do the purpose. It, clo it closes up this hole, and now it's, it uh, actually holds my batteries and stuff. Normally, I would just have the batteries in like a little pack and shove them in there in a little Ziploc or something, but uh, with this, I don't have to do that because it's already in there. To take this off, it's not difficult, but it's not easy. It's not gonna fall out, in other words. So yeah, I kind of just start it, get it up like this, kind of stick my thumb under there so I don't lose it until I can get a really good grip grip on it like this and you just start pulling it comes right out just like that and this battery and this uh, wrench the wrench is a little I don't say loose but it's not it's not as tight as the battery as far as grip now if you had a bigger allen wrench then it would probably uh, be a little tighter but I don't think it's going to fall out or cause me any problems so just take it again push it in kind of have to work it a little bit just like that and again, looks very factory, looks very professional. So anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It's just something I want to share with you uh, from uh, Missouri Tactical, and it is the A2PG storage plug. Find them on Amazon, find them on their website, and go to direct over there and take a look and uh, so forth. If you do buy on Amazon, that's not going to cost you any more to uh, buy it there. But uh, appreciate you tuning in. If you've got any questions, post those below. If you've got a similar product that you'd like to share with us that you found that you like, be sure to share that with us too. If you have this product, uh, just uh, share with us your thoughts and your uh uh, what your experience has been with them. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.